Hi everyone, this is teacher Alice from Lutran Elementary and the storybook I want to introduce to you today is called The Very Grumpy Day. Okay, so grumpy means angry or sad or annoyed. It means this and it means this and this. It means you're just hmm, grumpy. I don't know about you, but I've had some grumpy days. Sometimes if I'm grumpy and then I'm grumpy at my brother or my sister and we start fighting because now I'm grumpy and then they're grumpy and then maybe when mom or dad comes by they see us fighting, now they're grumpy. Why are we all grumpy? Sometimes our feelings get passed on to another person what we do affects someone else. So grumpy makes more grumpy, one grumpy becomes two grumpy, and it becomes three grumpy, or more. But on the other side, what happens if we're happy? So if I'm happy, and I do something nice and kind, or I share my happy, then one happy becomes two happy, and three happy, and everyone's happy. Now that is what this book is about. In this book we will have many animals and their grumpy moments and their happy moments. So let's read this book together and I hope you enjoy it. So The Very Grumpy Day by Stella J. Jones illustrated by Allison Ed Edson. All right, The Very Grumpy Day. So we see here, it seems like it's everything's okay so far. Bear is just putting on his nice blue boots. But let's see how this day goes. We start with Mouse. What a perfect day, smiled Mouse, looking out at the sunshine. And goodness, he was right. The birds trilled sweetly and the bees buzzed merrily. I'll take one of these cupcakes to bear, Mouse said. He loves a sweet treat. So Mouse is having a great day, and Mouse wants to share its happiness with Bear through cupcakes. So everything's happy so far. Let's take a look at Bear. Mouse tappity tap tap on Bear's front door, but he didn't know that Bear had just left. In a very bad mood, oh, <laughs> grumped Bear, these boots are just too big. Bear stomped along so heavily that the ground shivered and shook beneath his feet. Stop, stop, stop. Hey, cried Mole angrily, popping up from his mole hole. Your stomping has made my tunnel collapse. I have to start all over again. He flung down his shovel and had just disappeared into his hole when... Hedgehog tripped over the shovel with a bump. Who left that there? He cried. He roly polyed across the clearing. Straight into Fox's bottom. Ow! Fox yelped. Watch where you're poking your prickles, Hedgehog! Fox jumped up and his bag flew high into the air. The groceries tumbled out and plopped all over the squirrel family. Splat went the bag of flowers, splash went the milk, and smash went the eggs all over the baby squirrels. He threw an egg at me. It wasn't me, it was him. My tail isn't fluffy anymore. Be quiet down there, screeched Daddy Owl. You'll wake my chicks. Uh-oh. Everyone is grumpy. 
bicker, squabble, quarrel. Now everyone was in a big, bad mood. Up above, the sky turned dark. A roll of thunder shook the woods, and the rain began to fall. What a terrible day! Stop pushing me! Quick! Oh no, Grumps Bear, there's a hole in my umbrella, and my ears are getting wet. Bear's bad mood lasted all the way home. Then suddenly, he spotted something. It's a present for me! Bear picked it up and read the notes. Oh, how nice! He sniffed. And for the very first time that day, Bear smiled. A sweet treat for Bear, with love from Mouse. As Bear munched happily on his cupcake, the sky cleared and the flowers bobbed in the breeze. Mole would love these flowers, said Bear. I'll take them over to him to apologize for stomping on his tunnel. Huh? How nice. I'm sorry, Mole, said Bear, giving the flowers to his friend. That's okay, said Mole, and for the first time that day, Mole smiled too. I should say I'm sorry to Hedgehog for leaving my shovel in his way, said Mole. He trotted over to his friend's house and gave Hedgehog a huge hug. I'm sorry, Fox. That's okay. The smiles and happiness spread like rays of spring sunshine all through the afternoon. I'm sorry. Thank you. When Mouse looked out his window, the entire woods were ringing with birdsong and laughter. Such a perfect day, he beamed, racing out to join his friends. And it was. So, was it a good happy day or was it an angry grumpy day? It just takes one happy person or one happy animal in this case, it was Mouse to make everyone happy again. Happiness causes happiness, and grumpiness causes grumpiness. So, do you want to be Bear today, or do you want to be Mouse today? You can decide.